all of the defensive press that we've done at Loyola Marymount and that we're doing here at Shoreline Community College is always a full court press, okay? This is our on press in the full court. Uh, nine times out of 10, teams will inbound the ball to the right side to their point guard. Uh, they catch the, the ball, free throw line is standing on, on that side. Our one man uh, who's in the full front along with our two man is in full denial totally not allowing the ball to get in. However, he runs to the corner, the ball comes in, and what we do on the next diagram, as soon as it comes in, the one man comes and double, the one man comes to form a double team with the four man right in the corner. The two man comes off his man and he's either trying to steal that pass, which most likely you don't mind them passing backwards because you have a, 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 a 10 second count. So you would prefer them to pass it there, but no matter what, you take the ball out of the middle. You try to keep it out of the middle, no matter what, which usually the man here, uh, the defender here, uh, the offensive guy is usually going to try to cut to the middle to be the release, uh, pressure release. We're going to try to choke that off. Also, you have our, uh, this would be our three man uh, scouring the area, trying to look for the pass out here. He would try to intercept that or trying to, to intercept all the middle uh, pressure release here, whether it's coming from uh, the two man's player trying to come to the middle. So that's the first part of our uh, ball pressure. Assuming that the ball was passed out from uh, the inbound, from the inbounder would come in to here. The person that received the first pass passes it back to the, ball, uh, the person that took the ball out. Our four man would rotate back to try to form a double team along with our two man. The one man here will rotate to the middle along with the three man. To one of them will communicate to try to steal the next available, uh, the next pass, which is most likely if the ball is here in the middle or, or anywhere on the side, the ball usually will come to the middle, which we will have either the three man scouring to try to intercept that pass or try to intercept that, uh, that middle pass along with our one man. So we're always trying to take away the middle. The next easiest pass, believe it or not, will be if they don't try to pass it to the middle, the pressure release is this man here. When the ball is in motion, usually it's going to be a high lob pass with double pressure here. That's a very good opportunity for our five man to, to come and intercept that pass. This is the easiest pass against our press. Uh, and it's very difficult to make a long across court pass with pressure on the ball here and or pressure on the ball with the double team trying to turn the guy any way we can without reaching to just keep that, uh, 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 that offensive player very busy and constantly, no matter where he goes, the defense is always shifting to take away the middle. And if you're on this side, what will happen, the next available pass will be diagonal across court again with pressure always on a double team. It will be illustrated a little later uh, on the court. But this is our principles, always trying to take away the middle, always having on-ball pressure. Okay, the last part of this press is assuming that with on-ball pressure here, they pass out, it goes back to the inbounder, and sometimes you'll have it, um, the man that was, the, uh, the, offend, the offensive player that was, the two man was defending, would kind of be over here in the corner. So the four man, on the last part of this is the four man would rotate off of where the ball was under the basket from the double team. He would come and try to form a trap with the four man and the two man. Again, that one man who was over here part of the double team, he comes right to the middle to take away that middle. And also you have the three man scouring around looking for opportunities for still most likely here or somewhere in the middle. But you, have, you always have two defenders looking to play the passing lanes uh, for still. And in, in this case on the double team, the one man would be looking to try to intercept that or when this player uh, is in that area as well, once the four man vacate for the double team, he's going to defend that, that offensive player for still and that offensive player. So basically, you're just creating havoc, on ball pressure, forcing the team to take them out of their sets and not only just uh, barely b getting the ball over the court, we're going to show a late trap that we do a lot of as well. We did it a lot at Loyola Marymount, and we're definitely doing it uh, here at Shoreline Community College. This is assuming that the, the, one of the offensive players was dribbling the ball. They were able to get out of the double team. 
running down the sideline. They dribble down the sideline and pass it. By getting it over a line, they pass it to one of their offensive players. Our two men, who was part of the double team here, ran all the way down, and we're going to form a late trap. That once the ball comes, the two man is going to form a late trap with the two man. Now we got the one man who came, and he's trying to steal that inbound pass, usually back to the point guard. They usually try to get it back to a point guard to run their offense. But with the late trap, it really just uh, discombobulates the, everything that they want to do. And uh, they were not able to get it to the point guard because you got a one man. They're the four man is trying to take away any action uh, here, weak side or any other activity in the middle. The five man, if the ball goes into the corner, uh, the five man would go here and the four man would slide down uh, if that's a three point shooter. But you see this is maximum chaos, not only on the front end of the press, they have them scrambling, but even when they get it across uh, half court, we, we form a late trap uh, double team, and it, we really uh, worked out amazingly for Loyola Marymount, and it's working out well for us here at Shoreline as well.